I was just joking. I'm not staying out here. I'm not staying out here. folks uh, we are here about to do the survival trip um, what I'm doing today is going over everything with you guys what I would like to take um, and then Tasha is going to get on this video uh, with me not around um, so she could pack the bags of what she's going to allow me to take uh, she could take away any anything from this table except this little corner here this little corner here I'm going to need um, this is right here to cut the uh a lot of the wood that's going to make it easier to make my um, shelter i'm bringing this because scott letterman um, had gifted me this and uh, i'm going to show you a little bit of uses for that this is a a knife here that i want to show you a lot of stuff on the video but i definitely need this fire starter here um and this right here to chop wood and do a lot of other stuff with uh as well as a rope so the ropes the per the ropes are going to be needed um i do have food here guys um this is enough probably for three days to survive probably enough for four or five days if you're really trying to ration it off um, but i do have uh, some ramen noodles some uh tuna i have some um, spam here as well as some uh, soda cans that i want to do something with it's not because of the beverage because of the can so i can um, do some stuff with that i'll show you that on camera i got pull tabs on on different items i got cream of mushroom i mean it's a lot of fat um, calories in here so it's good for uh survival to burn the calories there uh, water you definitely need water um I, I would like to have coffee so i did bring this with uh, a little coffee pot so that's that's not up to me to bring anything else over to here uh, there's zippo lighters with lighter fluid she makes it want to make it real easy for me to start a fire uh, i've got ziploc bags for i don't know yet um, first aid kit right here uh have a stone to sharpen all my items here if i if that's an extra stone there because i think there's one in there have some gum um, i'm using this for certain survival thing out there i'll show you guys always need your business cards uh i have uh, bags of bags uh everybody has these laying around but i'm going to put leaves in here to sleep on uh, to make it a little bit more comfortable um, and this is going to be my day bag when I walk around. I don't have to have my big hiking bag. Um, I am going to use this bag here uh, for just, you know, walking, you know, about four or five miles a day. I don't want to carry everything. I'll just carry like one of the knives and maybe a thing of food just in case uh, I get mauled by a deer and, I'm, and I have to, you know, hunker down. Uh, these are my toilet papers. These are socks with the holes in the bottom. Um, I can use these for my for my um, arms too to stay warm. Uh, not after I use them for toilet paper, but there's a, there should be some water nearby probably. So um, she did say there was a pond I think around there somewhere. So I got to find that and I can wash wash that. I got one one pair, one shirt. I just need an extra shirt, and I got some clothes here that she can go through and see if I can take it or not. Um, I do have thermal, um, uh, uh, not a thermal, but I have a uh skull cap here with a light on it i don't really need the light if i have this so there's an option to have that both or not at all i got gloves and i don't have to have gloves i would like some crocs so i'm just mentioning that i like crocs she's taking notes over there uh okay uh we got ponchos we got a head net for mosquitoes. Uh, we got a compass. We got some yo-yos. Um, if you don't know what this is, these are for fishing. Uh, There's some bug repellent. And I think that's about all. I got fire starters. I got matches, waterproof matches. Uh, this one, John, head of tail barbecue and cooking, gave me this. It's like 13 items in one. It has a little bitty scissors, tweezers, um, a light, a little bitty light on it, and magnifying glass so that can be use, useful as well okay well oh 
This is Scott Letterman as well. Scott Letterman has sent me these two boxes. I don't know what's in them. They've been here for a month, month and a half. Um, I'm gonna let Tasha open them to make sure there's no food in there or nothing that's gonna make me seem like I'm at a five-star resort. So uh, I, I'm, she's gonna tape them back up and then I'll do a video exclusively out there for these, these two boxes. So these two boxes you sent me. Okay, with that, is there any other questions you got for? Um, Hold that. The microphone's facing towards you, so. No, I don't have any questions. I took my little notes on why you thought you needed certain things. Okay, I thought, okay, I don't like that. Don't like that tone. I do have underwear in here. I, I really don't need underwear. Four days, four days you'll need one pair of underwear. Um, you can wear it this way, you can wear it this way, you can flip it inside out and do the same thing at four days. No. Okay, but there's a couple pair. That's like a whole eight days sort of. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to let her get to it and let her talk. Um, I do have a tripod for her. Um, so um, if she wants to, to talk to you and um, let you know why she's not allowing me stuff or allowing me stuff or adding stuff then uh then that's that so okay well i'm gonna get out of here guys and uh, the next time you'll see me is probably in the car or the day before we tomorrow before we get into the car and then she's gonna blindfold me and then probably talk a little bit then and um, then see you out there. So if you want to catch the lives that I do out there, uh, the lives, uh, the first day I'm going live uh, for Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and after that, I'm only going live for Facebook subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to Facebook, uh, well, by the time you're seeing this, it's too late to do that. But the next, the next series we do, um, on, uh, I have like, about eight or nine seasons I already I want to do. So each of the seasons are going to be live on Facebook uh, only for subscribers. Okay, so it's only $2.99 a month. Um, if you want to do that, um, you guys are going to see exclusive uh, footage of that stuff plus more. So please, please, please look in the descriptions uh, for the link for that. And I will see you tomorrow. Go post stop recording. I'm gonna give her a hug before she picks the items. <laughs> oh, and I have to show, that, look. I kept hair on there. You said not bald. That's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, cause it's not bald, but it's pretty much looks bald, but it has a little, it's like five o'clock shadow. Yeah, I didn't want you to shave for the first time and be out in the woods. Oh, I have bumps all over my head, be itchy. Oh wow, yeah. look, I am bald. Look at that on camera. I look really bald, don't I? Look at that. Yeah. Hey Bob, my brother Bob is watching. Notorious B.O.B. I kept this so I can at least look um, like I'm in the wilderness, not with a, a, a fade and, and, and all haircut and shaved. Cause once I got this one, I still kinda, kinda, you know, but okay. I'm out of here now. It's, it's, on, it's on her. Here. Welcome to the video. This is the part where I take out um, stuff that I don't think that he needs and add stuff that he needs. Um, I was writing notes when he was out here talking, um, listening to why he thought he needed certain things and, and others he didn't. Um, I wrote down things that I wanted him to have because I didn't like some of the stuff that he was talking about, especially using socks as tissue. We're not, we're not doing that. Um, and earlier, I don't know if he said it on camera or not, but he was talking about maybe using leaves or moss. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, he probably know what he's doing, but you don't want to be in the woods with a rash on your butt. I'm pretty sure that's going to be more uncomfortable than already having to not have air mattresses and, and all that other stuff. Um, I guess what I want to do first is show you some of the things that 
I picked out that he didn't have on the table that I'm giving him. One thing I'm giving him is he can't see, he's in the house, in the computer room, is a shovel. Um, I got this shovel from um, a military friend. I don't know who tightened it up as much as it's tightened up. Brandon must have used it or something. But anyway, you unscrew this and it folds out, if I could do it. There it is. But you unscrew this and you let that out, then you tighten it back. Um, this side of the shovel, if y'all can see, is an X. He would need to sharpen it. Um, I have chopped down trees before with this when I was doing like some light yard work um, in my grandma's yard, but I thought he needed a shovel. So I'm gonna put that in there. Um, I see on the table he has a sharpening stone. So maybe if he don't want to use the saw or, or whatnot, he can sharpen one side of this and, and use it. But this is one thing I'm putting in. I'm gonna have to put some WD-40 on this thing. But this is one thing that I'm putting in there for him. So that's going in the bag. Oh, and let me show you the bag that he's taking. This is a hiking bag right here. So that's going, that's going in the bag. Um, I went through the house and put stuff in here so he couldn't see. Another thing I'm giving him, which I don't know if I'm gonna put it together because I wanna see if he knows why I'm giving him this. So this one, I'm not gonna give instructions, but I'm giving him a bottle, some fishing line, a hook and barber. And what he's supposed to do is take the line off of here, put it tied around the bottle, wrap the line around here, and to cast it, he would just have to flick it like this and it's supposed to act as a fishing pole. Um, he's not the best fisherman in the world as far as getting stuff when we go on trips. So I'm gonna try to give him, <laughs> I'm gonna try to at least give him a secondary option to, he has yo-yos on the table. So I'm trying to give him the best fishing chance ever. So he got the, the um, shovel where he can dig up worms and, and whatnot. And like I said, I want to see if he's going to put two and two together to do that. So that's another thing that I'm giving him. Um, I see that he has a coffee pot on the table. But what I don't see is a cup. I'm going to let him have his mug. At first I was going to not give him coffee because he loves his coffee. But the first night that he's going to be out there, I think the temperature is going to be like maybe 40 or it may get a little below. I don't want him to freeze to death. So I'm sure he's going to light a fire, but I still would like for him to warm up from the inside too, maybe. He may not need it, he may not use it, but I'm packing it just in case. Um, another thing I gave him, antibacterial soap. And also, where did I put it? I think I also put I guess I must have dropped it. I have to go back in the house and get it. I also, um, am giving him a tube of hand sanitizer, but I wanted to make sure I put some soap in there just in case he gets a cut or something. Don't want it to get infected. Toilet paper. We're not wiping our butts with socks and leaving them in the woods. We are just not gonna do that. So he has toilet paper in 
the Ziploc bag to keep it dry. Because even though they said it's not gonna rain, it might. I'm gonna put him a couple of these hooks in there. He may need to hang something or, or whatnot. I know he has the ropes, but he could tie it on the end of here so and put a loop on there. So if he ties, have to tie something up, he can get it um, off quicker. Giving him an extra bobber for fishing. Just in case he gets hung up, because it is trees out there where he is around the pond. Oh, and also, I haven't did it yet. I'm going to maybe include a map for the pond because I don't think he would be able to find the pond if I don't let him know where it's at because it's two different properties. I don't want him fishing in some random person property or, or whatnot. So I want to at least make sure he gets to the pond. So I may draw him a map. That would be the only thing to where I may put that in there. I'm trying to think, do I just want to let him just wander around and try to find it? But I may put him a map in there. Um, another thing that I got him that he has no clue about I bought him a little, a little spork. And it has a thing to where it attaches, I guess to your bags or something. But, hold up, let me show you guys this. Oh, that's a chicken. My bad, I heard a noise and I was trying to figure out what it was. But, I bought him a little spork so that he could use to eat. I see he has noodles on the table, but again, I don't see anything for him to eat out of. Maybe he could put them in his coffee mug and I don't know. I hadn't figured that part out. Or maybe he could put it in one of them cans, but this has a fork, spoon, and this side is supposed to be a knife. So I'm putting that in his bag. And I got him a travel hammock. I don't know if many of you know, but Brandon has um, neck problems and it bothers him a lot to where sometimes he uh, gets nauseous. During the birthday trip, he didn't know it, but I centered the trip. Well, not really. That was just one of the things that I put as far as on his, uh, on the birthday trip. We went to the chiropractor because his neck was bothering him so much that I decided to, to make him appointment. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea for him to try to sleep on leaves and stuff on the hard ground. Um, I'm putting a hammock in there. He can use it if he wants to. If not, we'll, we'll see how his back and neck feeling because he's not a spring chicken anymore and laying on the ground when you get that old is, is, is hard on you. Um, I'm also putting a tarp in there for him. He's not going to use the tarp for himself. He's going to build him a uh, structure. But what he is going to do is use the tarp to cover up his, um, his camera because I think he's taking the fancy camera and his computers and stuff. Um, and if it just happened to rain, we don't want that stuff to get wet. Um, so we're going to pack him a tarp to use to keep his, keep his media equipment covered. It's a chicken talking to me. I'm sorry. Um, another thing I'm giving him 
is boots. I'm taking away his Crocs. What? He got to wear shoes for the next couple of days. And y'all know how he feel about his Crocs. He's not going to get his Crocs. He got to take those off and have those. Um, I think that's it as far as the stuff that I'm, um, that I'm giving him. I guess I could show you the stuff on the table. Oh, I'm also, also gonna let him take the pellet gun. Because like I stated before, he's not the best fisherman. And even though I'm gonna give him a couple of those snacks on the table, um, I don't want him to starve, which I know y'all probably like, he ain't gonna starve, but anyway. That and the pellets, in case he want to get real wildlife and, and cook a squirrel or something. I don't know. Um, let me see. Of course, he got to have a first aid kit. I'm giving him that. And he put some extra stuff in here. But this has alcohol wipes, eye drops, band-aids, and tape and other stuff and wound cleaning gel. He threw some electrical tape in here. I don't know why, but I'm gonna let him keep it. I don't think he needs it. But if you know Brandon, Brandon magically cuts and hurts himself on a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna let him have all the medical equipment he needs. He got this to fill the bags with leaves so he can have a mattress. I'll let him keep it in case he wants to be all super and do that. Um, I guess I could turn it around and show y'all on the table. And here go all the stuff left on the table. Um, I'm gonna let him keep, I'm gonna let him keep the yo-yos. Cause like I said, there's trees around the pond and it's an easy way to fish. So he has two yo-yos. I'm gonna let him keep that. Here's a compass. I think that's what this is. Yeah. I'm gonna give him a compass. So, you know, if I do the map, I may just make it hard and be like, I ain't figured it out yet, cause I've never had to write a map before as far as in the woods. So, and then I wasn't out there with the compass to be like, go north, south or, or whatnot. So we'll figure that part, well, he'll figure that part out. I'm gonna let him keep his, coffee thing I don't know if I want him taking all of these so I'm gonna take some of these out of here of his coffee he is most definitely taking this because ticks get on you and can drain you and I think he told y'all his mom has um Lyme disease. I don't want him to get bit by ticks. I can't go in the woods without stuff on because ticks love me. Um, an emergency pontoon. I mean, not pontoon. Lord, poncho. I'm gonna let him take this just in case it's um, just in case it rains. I don't want. I don't want him to be out there freezing. The Crocs are going by the He's not getting it. These are fire starter sticks. I'm gonna take this away. You're not gonna get fire assistance. So we taking that away. Um, I 
I don't think he's gonna need a head net, so I'm taking that away. Sorry guys, I'm getting something to put all the stuff that I'm taking away. He is most definitely getting water, so I'm gonna let him keep the water. This is a no, we taking that away. I'm thinking chili is gonna be a no. And the reason I'm saying chili is a no, Brandon gets very bad acid reflux. And sometimes he doesn't sleep well because he has to sit up on the couch or in a chair and get some sleep because it's that bad to where he wakes up choking. And a lot of times it comes from him eating like a lot of tomato stuff or this with like chili powder in it. Um, I'm taking this away for the simple fact of I don't want him to have bad acid reflux while he's out there because I'm not giving him any antacid tabs or Pepto-Bismol. So this is going away. I'm going to give him his skull cap. He shaved all his hair off. I need his head to stay warm. I think this thing is supposed to be like a portable heater. I think that's what this thing is. But I'm taking that away. He can make a fire. Oops. Drink cans. I'm going to let them take the drinks, but I'm going to give them, they're going to be called trust drinks because I'm going to write on here, do not drink. I think with these, he's supposed to pour them out and open them up and make little stove-like things so he could cook on top of them. So I'm going to let him keep the drinks, but I'm going to write, do not drink on the drinks. Um... I'll let him take the ramen. And I'll let him take the tuna. That's it as far as the food. The spam. And these. I'm undecided about these. I'm taking the crackers away. Um. I'm gonna let them keep the gloves. I guess this is a extra shirt in case, in case, um, in case it gets wet. Hold up, I'm readjusting the camera. So he has an extra shirt in here. I'll let him keep that. I'm undecided about that or not. You know what? I think he gonna catch some food, so I'm taking that away. So I took away over half his food. He has socks and underwear in here. I'll let him keep that. I guess this is a backup headlamp. I'll let him keep it. This right here is a saw, which he's gonna have the, the really, he's gonna have uh, the other one. I don't think he needs the small one, so I'm taking this away. I'm taking away this other fire starter stuff. I don't think he needs that. These, I think, are the waterproof matches. We're going to take away all the fire stuff. What's this? That's a lighter. I'm taking all of that away. Oh. 
a lighter fuel, taking that away. I'm gonna let him keep his little thing, head to tail barbecue gave him, cause it has like little scissors and stuff in there. I'm gonna let him keep that. And I'm gonna let him keep this. Cause knowing Brandon, he gonna get a splinter in something, especially if he's making a fork. So I'm gonna let him keep those things for medical purposes. Battery and the gun. I wanna actually see him start a fire with this. So I'm gonna let him keep it. Even though I said I'm taking away the fire stuff, I, this is something I actually want to see him do. So I'm going to let him have that. Um, and I think, I think that is it. Of course, I'm not giving him, I don't think he's taking that stuff. But this is what's left out of everything that he had on the table. Those are just clothes. This goes in here. But these are just, that's just an extra shirt. Oh, I forgot. He got to have pants. I don't need anybody finding him and calling the police because it's a half-naked man in the woods. So it's going to be cold the first night. I'll let him have this long sleeve thermal just in case he can't start the fire. Um, I would like for him to wear pants. So I'm giving him a pair of pants. And I'm gonna give him one pair of shorts. Just in case, it, I think one of those days is supposed to get hot. So he has a pair of pants, a shirt, a pair of shorts, and a thermal, and socks and underwear. That's it as far as the clothes. He got other, why? I'm throwing these. Yeah, I'll see this. <laughs> these are going in the garbage. These are his favorite shorts, and he's still holding on to them. I'm not even gonna tell him I'm throwing those in the garbage, but these are going in the garbage. So when you editing this, that is what happened to these shorts that you can't find. I threw them in the garbage. Bye. Um, he has a second pair of shorts. <laughs> these have a hole in it. I was supposed to fix them a while ago and I haven't done it yet. Maybe while he's gone, I'll do that. But he's not taking those with him. Um, I think that is all. Oh, and I have to show you guys what, well, no. I'm not going to show you, but Scott Letterman sent him some stuff specifically for, um, for this survival trip. And I'm gonna go through it to see what it is, cause I wanna know. And I think he's gonna do a video. I think he's gonna do a video on this. So I'm gonna let him keep it and let him decide what to, um, what to do with it or not. But I'm gonna let him have both of the boxes from Scott. And I think that is all. So let me put everything on the table so you can see what all he's taking. Door pro stop recording. Okay, this is everything. The bags for the leaves, the tarp, the first aid kit, the poncho, coffee, soap, the pellet gun, Insect repellent, the compass, tissue, shoes, 
like two packs of ramen and water. And of course the necessities like the ropes and the the saw and and that stuff. But that's what he's getting for the trip. I think I got everything good in there. Which I'm still skeptical 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 about giving him these bags to fill for leaves. But yeah, this is everything. Clothes, water, food is right here. Of course he can't drink the drinks, like I said. He's gonna use those as mini stoves. Um, I gave him a cup to keep the hot stuff in and he could put his noodles or whatnot in there. I guess after he cook them in the, well, he'll have his water. He could put it in his uh, coffee mug. The pellet gun, in case he may need to eat a squirrel or two. We'll see. And yeah, that's everything. I'm pretty sure I gave him more than enough stuff, but He gave me the choice to decide. And I wasn't gonna be mean and take everything. I think I took away because he bragged so much about his fire starting skills. I did take everything away that would help him start a fire besides the little flint thing that's on the knife. And I left him a sharpener. And I just realized he got cards on the table. He don't need, he doesn't need these cards. He don't need them. That's going away too. I may give him, I'll give him three. Cause he may be out there three or four days. He's just gonna have to ration them. Maybe he'll use them as, as fire starters or something. I don't know, but he's only gonna have three. I'm taking these away. So those are going in the no pile. I took away majority of the coffee. I only gave him like three, three cups of coffee. I think that's more than enough. What? Um, that's everything. Took away his shoes. He has to wear real shoes. Well, something like real shoes. I'd rather his feet be covered than not. But that's it. I got the safety, the water, first aid. I think I got everything covered. I still can't wait to see if he gonna put that bottle and the fishing line together. But um, thank you guys. Oh, and the stuff that Scott's gonna send. I'm gonna look at that. I may record me doing it or I may not, but I think that's gonna be a surprise for him and you guys. So I may not show that part, but I'm gonna let him take it with him. Um, I'm just gonna make sure it's not any food in there because he gotta catch majority of his own food. That's it. GoPro, stop recording. I'm gonna record this part just in case. I guess just to get my reaction on seeing what's in here. He got a whole knife over here and I'm trying to open it with a, with a spork. I'm gonna tape this back up when I'm finished too. But I do wanna see what it is. kind of makes me want to take more stuff off the table. Yeah. I think I'm about to take some more stuff off the table. Uh, 
I'm not going to take any of this stuff away. <coughs> well, the simple fact is I want you guys to see what all, what all he gave. I like everything in there. Like I said, this box makes me want to take even more stuff away. I'm gonna leave it though. I'm gonna take that back up. <coughs> this one's kind of heavy. Let's see what this is. It will help him on his future videos. I will say that. It would help him on this one, but I don't think he's gonna use any of the stuff on the first video. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. I wish I could show you. I want to take everything off the table. I believe it so he can show y'all though. But he has more than enough stuff. He could have just took maybe these two boxes and the the hatchets and the shoes and clothes and been fine. But like I said, I'ma let him take this stuff so he can show y'all what it is. A little survival boxes. Thanks, Scott. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, it is the next morning. I just woke up, drinking my coffee. Um, I saw that uh, Chester um, had uh, posted a video. Um, he used to go as HH Craftsman. Um, but... Um, Chester Hallett had uh, got my package uh, that he ordered, the Luna shirt, my shirt, and I added some extra stuff in there. And I saw his, his uh, package just came because he made a video and just posted that video yesterday or last night. Um, so I really am, um, I'm thrilled that he liked the package. I added more stuff uh, than usual. Um, I put a couple of extra items in there because he paid like 30 to $35 just for shipping uh, because it went to Canada. Um, but so uh, he watches a lot of the videos, been going back watching the older videos. So I really do appreciate you guys that do go back and watch the older videos. Um, it brings back memories for me when you comment on them because I see your comment and, and comment back. And um, I just remember those videos that I do. A lot of bad acting. If you like a lot of bad acting, in the past I had a little more time. Um, so I did a lot more bad acting. And it's really, really bad acting. So um, if you're really uh, into that stuff uh, and want to get some kicks out of it, I've done big skits in the backyard and and in the park and a lot of places so uh, please check those videos out but thank you again uh, Chester uh, I know I commented on your video but and I know you're gonna see this one uh, but I'm getting ready now um, I got my bags packed and I need to pack this computer uh, because I need to download all my um, all my videos that I do make for you guys this one's going to be downloaded because um, this vlog, I'm going to be blindfolded and headed out to where I'm going. Um, so, uh, let me get ready. I get Luna, put her on the porch. That automatic door opens at seven. Um, I think we're going to be leaving here soon. Um, it's five 30 in the morning now. So I um, think we have about another 30 minutes or 45 minutes and I want to get out there as soon as possible so I can go live for you guys. So please check those lives out. Um, um, I guess I, I'll name it live on location or something like that, uh, d d uh, garbage in the woods. Um, sorry, I can't talk too clearly right now. I just woke up. Didn't even get the eye boogers out of my eyes yet. Um, but, uh, I will see you in the car and update you then. Okay. So as soon as she's driving me out there, I'll update you and then talk a little bit more and, um, uh, 
that'll be that. So uh, let me get ready to go and see you there. Go post stop recording. Yeah. It's working? Yeah. Okay. All right, folks, we are in um, the vehicle. Am I in the view? Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, we got about an hour to go, and uh, I'm just going to zone out and do a little bit. You good. Is that good? Yeah. Sorry, Tasha's helping me with the camera. You good. All right. And um, I'm going to zone out a little bit, drink my coffee, and maybe be the last coffee I have while I'm out here. Um, and I think she's stopping for gas, so I might go use her restroom um, before I go, so I don't have to use my hand or a pine cone. So we'll see you um, at the drop-off point. So, see you then. Wish me luck. I'm not gonna need it, cause I'm a man. Okay. Go post stop recording. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're stopping to get gas, and what I think I'm gonna do is ask to use the restroom, and then I'll put lipstick on the mirror help. It's so cool. You look like a fly. Who, me? Yeah. I look like a fly? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, or just jump out and start running with the mask. <laughs> Let it yeah, fall so over. You can run into <laughs> okay, you we're gonna get gas, and hopefully, I get got gas, and I can use the restroom. TMI, I know that's what this station's about, and um, I don't know what else to say, but I'm gonna try to use the restroom so I don't have to use the pine needles and pine cones. Not yet. Last known place. It's the gas station somewhere south of I'm pretty sure they could Hernando. Tell. By the way, you was flailing the camera back Gotta and go forth slow. Real fast. Okay. Uh, guys, if you see this, this is the person. <laughs> You're not even in the view? Not that way. You know I'm not. I I don't know. That's the back of the camera. This is the back? The back. This is the front. No, this is the front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I can't see. Okay. Well, I'll see you there. Hopefully. Hopefully, I ain't smacked in the back of the head. Okay. Go post stop recording. Is that off? No. Go post stop recording. Hey, she let me use the restroom. Um, before we got there, so I took my blindfold off when we parked. I know this is in the country because they're smoking inside the gas station. Yes, there's a lot of smoke in there from cigarette smoke. So I know we're in the country. And uh, don't worry, I'm not using the restroom right now. I came in so I can get some toilet paper. She does not know. I don't think she even watches my channel. But I am going to grab a lot of toilet paper just in case she didn't give me any to go out there. So it is surviving because I didn't bring it from the house. This is, I'm in survival mode right now. I'm just trying to live. I'll see you later. I can go. It's, it's recording? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we are here. Um, and I think she drove around in circles a little bit to try to confuse me, but I knew some rebel tracks were that direct maybe not that direction but somewhere around here so i can maybe hop a hop on the train and i'm like a hobo with a stick in a bag or 40 bags <laughs> but uh okay here goes nothing Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day unless you meet other plans.